Hello and welcome to this video which is about using crossfades to smooth your audio editing workflow. So this isn't the traditional use of crossfades to fade from one piece of audio to another. It kind of is, but it's not really in the in the spirit of it. So here's the setup. We've got a bit of voiceover which was recorded and there's an error here. The solution's aligned vertically and horizontally. And then afterwards there was the take which was correct with the correct solutions lined vertically and horizontally in each square speech in there and what we want to do is to transition it at this and so you've got this big bulge here and you've got that one there now typically what you would do is you would get to your edit point here you'd probably zoom in put across a little bit of a fade here so we've got that little fade there then you'd move it to the right place so we'll put it here and that would be okay but then you've got the issue of you might need to put a fade out on this depending on what's happening in the particular transition to get it to work smoothly. It's a bit faffy. So I'm just going to undo that so you can see I've removed the fade on there. Instead of that, when we know where our edit point is, what we can do is just put it in the right place. So we can zoom in. Use Cubase's transparency. So we just get that. So the timing is perfect like that. It doesn't matter about this extra bit here. And then you hit X on the keyboard, which gives you a crossfade. That's not what you want at this point because it's crossfading between the two and it will sound weird. Normally you get phasing and vertically and horizontally. In each. Yeah, that just sounds weird. You don't want that. But then you just make the crossfade very, very short. So there it's effectively crossfading in some silence and that will be seamless. Vertically and horizontally in each square. Much quicker than doing it all manually. You can do it when you're pretty much zoomed out. So providing you get your timing right, you hit X just make that very small and you're done. The bonus as well is if you do later on decide to move these off, they've got their little precautionary fades already in place and you're not going to get any clicks. As ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.